Okay, so in the last video, I know I said I was going to make that video like right after, but I ended up not. But it doesn't really affect the video that much. Um, but Tomaki and Ari did not go up last night. But let's get into the main points of this video. So, like I said in the last video, I did get uh, two of the Box Lunch exclusive Demon Slayer Pops. And you can probably tell which two they are by the title. But one I did say specifically which one it was. And there are three Box Lunch exclusive Demon Slayer Pops out right now. One being this pop right here. Inosuke. This is the Lounging Inosuke. And I was actually able to get this pop in store. The other two Demon Slayer exclusives at Box Lunch were uh, Tanjiro Water Dragon and the other one I got, Mini Nezuko. I actually did order Mini Nezuko. And I will say these were two of the easiest, easiest anime pops to get um, in recent memory. I wish that it was, I could say the same for Box Lunch Itachi, but I can't. Um, and Tanjiro Water Dragons also was a hard one to get, but Mini Nezuko was one of the easiest box lunch exclu or anime exclusives to get in recent memory. Like compared to like Shinra, Itachi, um, pretty much any of those like more popular anime exclusives, these two were very easy to get. Um, Mini Nezuko was up for a while and they've restocked it just about every day for a bit. I don't know if it's still up, but it was up for a while. My store did sell out in the first day, but um, Inosuke, I did pick up in store, but I looked online. It was up for like almost six or seven hours online. And I know some people didn't buy this one since it's a deluxe pop and was like $30, but this one's just a regular size, it's like $15 pop. So I'm kind of surprised that it took that long for this one to sell out. So if you missed out on these, <laughs> you must have not really been trying to find out about the pops or just had no idea that they were stalking because... They were super, super easy to get from Box Lunch. And even resale, they're not that bad. Like, this one I think is reselling for like 25 And considering you're going to have to pay just about 20 online, unless you got free shipping, because it's like a $15 pop. So, really, it's not even that much more expensive on resale. And I haven't even looked at this one on resale. But I do see the complaints with this one, I will say, because there is a picture going around. I don't have it, but... Uh, of this pop actually fitting in this one's box. And I mean, I understand the complaints because, I mean, like, Karama, I have literally, like, takes up the whole box. I'll get Karama at the end of this video to show off what I mean by the size of a deluxe pop because the Karama box and Mini Nezuko's box are the exact same size, except Mini Nezuko does fit in a 4-inch pop box. And I kind of understand why they did it because they can make more money since it is more detailed pop with the base stand in the box and stuff, but still. <laughs> I mean, I'm not only paying $30 for it though, because, I mean, once it starts becoming hard to find, it's gonna be reselling for over 30 anyways, so might as well just pay 30 from Box Lunch themselves. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's the two Box Lunch exclusive Demon Slayer pops. And, um, what else was I gonna say? So there, I'm, I've not ordered or pre-ordered the common set yet. I'm going to try to get them eventually. And I'm trying to get the Tanjiro's. I have the GameStop exclusive and Nosuke bundle pre-ordered. And uh, I also got to try to get that Ruby versus Tanjiro. And I really want to get the Giyu Tomioka. He's like number one of the Demon Star Pops, like on the list of Pops I want to get. And then there's that Chalice bundle of the Inosuke flocked. But yeah, so that's about it for the Demon Slayer Pops. And at the end of that video, I mentioned that there was a two other Pops. So these were two late Christmas gifts I got from Shumi. Uh, and these are from a series that I kind of, if you know about the series, you know what it is. And it's a series, what my hint was, it is a series that is getting a part two to its season four. So if you have any idea, it's pretty obvious. And that series is Attack on Titan. I'm trying to get some more of the Attack on Titan pops. I know these are just two common ones, so they're pretty easy to get. But the thing is, uh, with Attack on Titan's return, the pops are probably going to start to get more popular and stuff. And I mean, I think there's only like 20 Attack on Titan pops. 
out, so really there's not that many pops for as popular of an anime as it is. Uh, also, uh, a, only a few of them are vaulted. I think it's like almost half are vaulted, actually. And those there are some more expensive pops in the line, like a couple are selling for around $100. But then some of these commons, like Ymir, Kenny, Levi, and that pretty much whole wave uh, are relatively easy to get. Yeah, the, the Krista, Ymir, Erwin, Kenny, Hanji. And there is a rumored wave that's supposed to be coming that's going to have a new Aaron, a new, um, a new Mikasa, and uh, I think a Ymir Titan form, and a... Uh, Oh, that was a spoiler. If you haven't seen Attack on Titan, Ugh. and um, who was the other? Oh, Berthold, I think was the other rumored one. And there's a rumored Levi with blood that I think is from the same company that made the first Itachi, or was not made but was the exclusive. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. Um, well, I guess I gotta get Karama real quick. Okay, so here's what I meant. Karama's box is almost the exact same size as Mini Nezuko's, and Karama literally like goes, his ears literally go over that part, and Mini Nezuko can fit in that box. So, yeah, not the best move by whoever it was, either at Funko or Box Lunch, but yeah. But I'm trying to get some more Attack on Titan pops, so if you really like Attack on Titan, stay tuned for that. And when Attack on Titan does return and has the second part of its final season, I am going to have a reaction because I have, I'm up to date on Attack on Titan, but um, I wanted to wait till the last if, till the series was finished before I had my review because there was no point to review it at uh, season four and a half, or I meant the 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 first half of season four ending when it's about to be over and that's the final season so yeah there's no point to say, make a review so yeah thanks for watching and stay tuned because i will have some more attack on top videos and i'm trying to get some more of those demon slayer pops especially uh Giyu tomioka i will be getting him hopefully pretty soon i'm just kind of waiting for aaa to ship him out to some more places because i there's no point to buy a pre-order one now when they're just about to be in stock at places Okay, I didn't even really talk about these pops, with, and I just realized it after re-watching the video. But, I wanted to talk about these because these are two I really do like. I mean, Kenny's not my, like, my favorite character, but he is a really cool character in the anime. Uh, I think he's based off Jack the Ripper, which is pretty cool. He like kills a bunch of military officials in the anime. And if you know the anime, some of the military and the government is corrupt, so... Well, you know, it's kind of, there's kind of reasons he should be doing it or whatever. But, yeah, Kenny's a cool character. His his group's fight against Levi is really, really cool. And if you know Kenny and Levi's relationship, it makes it pretty cool as well. And, um, yeah, Kenny's just a really cool overall character. And, um... I guess that's it you can really say about Kenny. And then there's Ymir. Ymir is a very interesting character. It always felt like there was something off about her in the like first season. But then once you find out about her secret being that she's actually a Titan, it makes her character a lot more interesting. Because there's like one scene where Reiner is like she's reading something and like no one else can read it or something. It's something like that. I forgot exactly how it went. It's been a while actually since I watched um, that episode, but yeah. Ymir's a cool character. Her relationship with Krista is pretty cool. And yeah, she does have a, she is a Titan, which is pretty crazy. I mean, she's like the, this, after Aaron, I think she's the only other character at the time we knew could transform into a Titan. I can't remember. If, yeah, because we see her transform into a Titan before we see 
Rainer or Bertolt to transform into a Titan. So yeah, two cool characters. But I mean, the thing is with Attack on Titan, their characters just aren't as like, I guess, important seeming besides like Aaron and Levi as like series like Naruto. And I guess that's why people just, well, I guess, no, the Pops are popular, but I don't know where I'm really going with that. But there's just something about Attack on Titan where you're just like, I don't know, just not as attached to most of the characters, I guess. It's like a series like Naruto is what I was trying to say by that. But I do really like the anime, and I do plan on trying to get most of the Pops. I don't really plan on getting like the air in black and white and the colossal type in black and white ones. But I do plan on trying to complete most of the set. And one other thing I wanted to mention, that Deku Pop that I mentioned about on Hot Topic, I didn't end up ordering it, and it is pretty much the regular Deku, but it is the Hot Topic exclusive. Like, the only difference is his hands are different, but I don't have the regular one. And I was able to get it actually for free since I had a Kakashi Lightning Blade order from them get canceled. So they sent me like a $15 off promo code that I could use by December 31st, which was a little late notice considering I ordered the pop like a month ago, and they already sent me the cancellation email. But now I got the thing. But still, I'll take $15, and I didn't have to pay shipping, so I literally got the pop for free. <laughs> so I will have that pop coming, and if you watch any of my other videos, I mentioned the other pops I have coming, and I have a really, really cool video coming tomorrow about the full pop collection. And pretty much if you've been watching all the videos, you'll know what the whole collection is. So they haven't sold any pops or anything yet. But yeah, there's a really, really cool video coming up. So thanks for watching.